Hello, my people. Happy Wednesday. Thank you to all of you, my new subscribers. I saw you all, guys. Yeah, thank you. And my returning queens and kings, I appreciate you all, guys, very much. Thanks for your support. And um, uh, you guys, remember, we still have that Isabella Beck's channel. Yeah, we need to get the sisters to 5,000 subscribers because guess, guess what? The sister is helping us all, okay? So let's uh, help the sister so she could help uh, more of us, okay? Yes, so on this channel, we expose anti-black racism. We do expose how Megan is being treated by the English media. That's what we do here primarily. So guys, remember about the king? You guys, King Charles III said he does not like the African culture, and yet he is still the leader of Commonwealth. Yesterday, we did see somebody did put the petition here. It's on my... Um, YouTube page here. Yo, guys, let's focus on this one here. Let's follow through with this one here. You know, our race has suffered enough. Why do you guys think this is okay? Why do you think it's okay for someone to say that about your culture? And we are sitting quiet here. The video I made yesterday and re requested everyone to share around so it could reach the African leaders, the Commonwealth leaders in the Caribbean, everywhere you have black nations in Commonwealth. Nobody's doing anything. There are not even like a, a lot of views on that. This is serious matter here. This guy needs to be exposed to the core. And he is out right, right now. His own people came and told us the truth. That Thomas something. Tom somebody. Thomas Bauer. Or that's his name. Or I'm staying correctly. I'm not sure. Because you know. One thing I don't really pay attention to. Is those people's names. Because they hurt me. They hurt my race. They hurt Meghan Markle. They hurt... Through Meghan Markle, they are hurting all of us. And right now, you guys saw the truth. The king does not like us. He does not like our culture. He does not appreciate our culture. He was forced by his mother to go to, to black nations. You all heard it from his journalist's mouth. I don't know if he's uh, he's the spokesperson for Buckingham Palace or for that other palace there. He's one of them. He can't lie. He told you all guys the truth. What else do you guys want to hear so you could react? What else do you guys want to hear so you could uh, put some messages out there and share these videos? Guys, it was reported clearly by Piers Morgan. That him with Kate Middleton were the one asking what color uh, Prince Archie was going to turn. You know, one other thing I heard on the social media, allegedly, this guy, the King Charles, took a while to give titles to his own grandchildren. And remember, when King Charles' children were born, Prince Harry and Prince uh, this one, the leaks, Mr. Leaks, they were given their titles straightforward. And the king became a he became a king when those children were born already. Would that really take a minute for anyone because it's their tradition to give the, the prince and the prince's title to, to his own grandbabies? That tells you what he has against the black color, black race. He doesn't like us. His grandbabies have a little bitty tiny black in them. He does not like that. That's why he doesn't value them. And that's exactly whoever said allegedly that he took a while, a minute to give the children the title. I can see that now. Now everything is here in opening. It's out here. Thomas said Prince uh, uh, Charles was forced to go to black nations. Well, thanks. Salute to my Barbados cousins. Thank you, guys, the Barbados. You all did good job. You did good job to exit from this nonsense organization that does not like you. You know what my mother used to say? If you have someone around who does not like you, walk the other way. Do not look back. Do not apologize. You know, I wonder what's wrong with African nations.
nations. What is wrong with the Caribbean nations? Y'all need to do something. Your leaders need to do something. Y'all need to sit down here, say something. If you can't talk, hire some people. There are people, the eloquent people there who can stand around here and give a thorough message to that racist evil man. And I can't wait a few, two more minutes here. I'm sure my, 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 my people from Nigeria, the Nigerian government is going to say something. Because you know what is instigated all this? It was a Prince Harry and uh, uh, our princess's um, visit to Nigeria. That's what pissed them off. They took the gloves off and exposed their racism in public with no shame. Because guess what? These are the people who have no shame. These people believe the world belongs to them. And they believe that they are superior than us. So guys, that's when we need to show them that they are not superior than us. Guess what? All the minerals they're, walk, they're walking around with, all the minerals, see all the, the diamond those people wear on them? Do you see the black Africans with a red diamond there on them? Do you see the South Africans wearing diamonds? Do you see the people from Congo wearing diamonds? Do you see people from Sierra Leone wearing diamonds? Do you see people from Cameroon wearing diamonds? Do you see the people from Nigeria wearing diamonds? Who do you see wearing diamonds in Africa? From African nations. Do you see Ethiopian people wearing diamonds? Do you see Somalians wearing diamonds? Do you see Kenyan people wearing diamonds? Do you see Ugandan people wearing diamonds? All the diamonds you see on these people. Where do they get the diamonds from? From Africa. From Caribbeans. From those areas. I believe they have something in Australia down there. But guess what? The, Australia belongs to them. That's where they used to deport all their criminals back in the day. So if your family kind of landed up in, in Australia, you need to check your roots really well. Because I heard, allegedly, uh, Kate Middleton's family was uh, also from there. Kate Middleton's, Carol Middleton's uh, uh, great, great, great were from there. Sophia Goldsmith. She got married to some criminals from uh, 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 Buckingham or whatever. So, so ask yourself, where does that gold, diamond, all those ones circulating in Western countries come from? They all come from those Commonwealth countries of Africa, Caribbean and all those. And Australia. I read a couple of Australians here charted in my chart here saying they they wanted their country to be a republic. They did not want to deal with these people. I believe this monarchy is going to be your end right now. You know, sometimes when you're hurt, everything is full inside. It will eventually come out. That's what happened. Those people had a lot in their hearts about the black people. Guess what? It took Meghan Markle to get married into that family. So now we know exactly who they are. Thank you, Meghan, for doing that. Thanks for marrying into that family so you could expose them to the world. African black leaders, Caribbean black leaders, this, is mes this message is for you. We want to see you guys' reaction. I want to see reactions from all of you guys. You know, this is the minute that I do think about people like Malcolm X. This is the time that I think about people like Idi Amin Dada. This is the time that I think about Kwame Kuruma. This is when I do think about people like Patrice Lumumba. This is the time I think about Martin Luther King. Y'all guys have played with us enough. The young generation is asleep. They're forgetting their history. Please don't.
not forget your history. Do not forget where we came from. Do not forget what these people did to us. You all need to speak up. And get yourselves out of this evil organization that does not like you. This organization does not stand with black people. It does not care for y'all guys, black people. Look at your nations. Look at these nations. Look at black nations with wars everywhere, poverty everywhere, diseases. How long is it going to take for y'all guys to stand up for yourselves and take yourselves out of this Freemason renounces that does not like you? Practice African. Y'all need to practice your African religions. Y'all need to exit this nonsense people religion. Get yourselves out of Freemasonry. It's not ours. Go back to the roots. Go back to where we came from. Pray to our ancestors. Pray. Guys, stand up already. Stand up to this man. Please do it. I'm hoping this video is going to reach all the African leaders. I'm hoping so. With all of y'all guys' help around here. Share my video. Share the video I made yesterday. To call those African leaders and Caribbean leaders, black nation leaders in Commonwealth to stand up. This is very serious. You can't let people treat you like a useless people. You cannot let people criticize your culture. You cannot let other men like you belittle you. What do you guys want to hear? You want me to become a man? What do you guys want? I'm hoping something is going to happen here two days shortly around here. This week, we want to see you guys speak up. We know those men, this guy, the king, wears trousers. You guys wear skirts. But change that. Turn the table. It's time to turn the table. When Harry and Meghan returned from uh, Nigeria, all of a sudden we saw this daily trash. Coming up with Archie Wells Foundation saying they were not paying their, for their bills. Guess what? I own a non-profit. It's not tons of money that Megan, Harry and Meghan cannot afford to pay. If I, myself, as an individual, can afford to pay for my non-profit to be active, How much about the two people, Harry and Meghan, the celebrities, the millionaires? Sometimes you guys need to sit down there and think about what you really say. This hate is really not helping you with too much. And fortunately, we still have good people. Guess what? The governor of California, you know, California is one of the largest uh, economies in the world. That's Hollywood. All of y'all guys around the world watch Hollywood movies, don't you? All of y'all guys in the UK watch Hollywood movies. All of y'all guys in the UK want to be a Hollywood stars. All of y'all guys there, including this Piers Morgan, want to work on American television. But guess what? With everything you did to Megan, I don't believe lots of Americans going to hire you. You with that uh, Sherry, is that her name? Sherry or Shelly? That lady. The Osborne or whatever, or Osborne or Osborne or whatever you call them. All those people, I don't really care about no racists. All 
of those people, I do not believe you all guys, somebody's going to bring you back on American TV after everything that you did to Meghan Markle. But you're racist. It just makes you guys look horrible. The way you look, hate will never make you look, hate will never make you glow. Hate will make you look ho 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 the way you look like right now. Ho ho ho! That's how y'all guys look because that hate, terrible. Y'all ain't got no holy spirit. You know the person who ain't got no spirit has devil in him. Did you see your king's portrait portrait from yesterday? He looks like a devil. Now let's listen to the governor of California defending the Archwell Foundation, saying all the good stuff about this uh, this uh, um, uh, nonprofit, the foundation. You all guys have nothing to say. Meanwhile, you're going to the Cornwall digging, and nothing here coming out of that. Meanwhile, the Archwell is helping people in California and the big politicians. Uh, that uh, has been placed on the Archwell Foundation. I'm here at a behavioral health site, a mental health site. Archwell Foundation, uh, run by Meghan Mark Markle and, and Prince Harry, uh, do extraordinary work, particularly women and girls, but notably uh, around mental health. Uh, and I just want folks to know, not only are they in compliance, there's a technical paperwork issue that was wildly over uh, hyped. Uh, and with respect, I hope people that ran those headlines um, run uh, this headline that uh, uh, it was a very typical technical issue around paperwork that persists for so many others as well. And they're in full compliance uh, and uh, they're a celebrated organization that does great work in the state of California. So I want to clarify that because that's important. And I, I just thought uh, there was a uh, a little bit uh, of a uh, piling on uh, that was deeply unfair. Unbelievable. Uh, that, Did you all uh, hear that? Did you all hear that? They are in compliance. You know what? I have a nonprofit. And if, well, I do not take care of all the paperwork of my, of my nonprofit. I have a company called the Legal Zoom. So the legal zoom has a registered agent who reminds me every year about the paperwork. And one time the legal zoom was late itself with the paperwork that I needed to submit. Guess what? They, I received the same letter that the actual foundation received. Does it mean I do not have money to pay for my, my, my nonprofit? Does it mean that my company is not in compliance because it's my fault? No, it's administration stuff. We don't control the office of uh, those people. We do not control the Secretary of State. We do not control the IRS. We are little individual down here. You guys made a big deal out of it thinking that you were going to break Harry and Meghan. See where you all guys are now. Come talk. So guess what? The governor of California came here to tell y'all. Stop hating. Stop the hate. That racism ain't, ain't looking good on y'all guys. Y'all guys look so miserable. I believe your families look that miserable as well. Because guess what? If you have children and the children are watching this, especially this Gen Z nowadays children and the millennials my age, we can't buy into you guys' nonsense. We ain't buying into you guys' nonsense, all these old men here. All those old women. Your guys' careers at the end. Y'all need to go to a retirement instead of sitting down there hating on somebody's daughter. You've worked enough and now do not know what to do anymore because nobody's hiring you. 
So therefore you have to hang around this racist king to bash Megan. It's so sad. A king of the United Kingdom paying people to trash his uh, daughter-in-law who is a uh, black person so if somebody's gonna come there from one of these policies saying this thomas bauer was uh, lying just look at the treatment of megan marco in that house of windsor look at treatment of megan marco with her child prince archie the little baby they got kicked out of frogmore cottage do you guys remember that? And you know this king, every time he get accused of racism, what he does, he will pose in all the pictures with black people the entire month. So keep my words. From now, watch around. You're going to see that king posing around all the black people nowadays, these few days, him and his wife. You will see them hanging around black people, posing. I saw one of the pictures on Isabella Banks' channel yesterday. I was cracking up so hard. Sister, I love you, Isabella. Yeah. So she was uh, showing us one of the aunties. The king went to talk with to one of the black aunties. I'm sure that auntie kind of suffered from the hands of those people. Yeah, she just did not even look at that man. She's like, well, give me a break. I know when you're gonna turn behind, you're gonna turn your back. You're gonna be talking smack about me. You're gonna be talking smack about my race and my culture. I do not want you. You know the level of these people is hypocrisy. But guess what? It doesn't really su surprise me. Remember the colonization. Remember slavery. And now they are sitting down there telling us we're just complaining for nothing. They are gaslighting us. You know who does that? Narcissists. Narcissists do, do that. They will do all wrong stuff to you. And they love to see you in pain. And they're going to blame every single thing that they did to you. They're going to blame it on you. That's exactly what these people do. And they've been like that. That entitlement doesn't go around with no narcissism. They go hand to hand together. Go read online the definition of narcissist. Yeah. You'll find out. That's the, what those people ha have. It's a personality disorder. In my mental health book. And that me mental health disorder is very hard to treat. That's why it's going to be very hard to even deal with this dude here. The only thing is for the Commonwealth black leaders to get a new leader or to exit this organization all combined together one or the other otherwise i'm gonna lose my respect for all of y'all guys you all need to react now these people here sat around to compare harry and megan Listen to this. Making about um, Meghan and Harry are interesting. Do you think that Meghan and Harry possess the characteristics that are needed in order to modernise the royal family a bit? I mean, they certainly do. You can just look at these pictures from Nigeria and you can see that they have that stardust. They have you know, the glamour. They have the, the common touch of being able to talk to people. Like Henry was saying, I would just pick up on what yeah. Henry, Henry was slightly <laughs> being critical. So, you know, Meghan's got something that you know, Catherine, uh, Princess yeah. of Wales, hasn't got. I would disagree with that. I think that Catherine has got you know, great uh, capabilities. 
Uh, one thing to bear in mind, though, is, of course, Catherine has been learning on the job. Yeah. She left university and has pretty much been immersed in this. You know, she was, she certainly struggled with public speaking. We know that. She got incredibly nervous. Yeah. It took her many, many years, and she, she took it very, very slowly. You've got Megan, who came in from an acting career sure. with all the confidence and as a grown-up adult woman and I think you're Isn't comparing that she's bringing that Kate doesn't yeah. she's got that confidence she's yes. got that ability and I think Kate though Megan. has learnt it now but but Megan came as the full package sure I agree the histories are different but as you said before we are where we are and I'm just looking at the two of them um, I've, I've never been to an event where Catherine or Kate has spoken without note but I mean, having seen a number of speeches where Megan has and where you have to actually connect with your audience. And I thought to myself, hmm, this is something that, that is I'm valuable. Just, I'm trying to, because I suppose there is a difference between Kate and Megan, and I'm trying to bring in my head what that difference is. Is it that when you are a, a formal royal or a traditional royal, you have a lack of ability to show personality? You probably have a great personality behind the scenes, an absolute laugh a minute. But you're not really allowed to show that because there'll be controversy to everything that you say. Mm. Megan may have brought more personality because she and wasn't, she, she didn't feel as yes, and and, and she was criticised for that un, uh, totally unfairly at the beginning. You know, people were saying, "Oh, you know, she's so big for her boots, yeah. and she's a diva, and all this thing." And actually, my interpretation was, "No, she's a, oh, you know, a successful woman who's not used to being sort of, as she would put it, silenced and bossed mm. about." So there was. There was a, an issue at the beginning of how she fitted in, and I do think that could have been worked through. Yep. If if more patience has been had been shown on both sides, that they could have found a way that Megan would have felt listened to and and heard it and valued and respected, yeah. probably most most importantly. But but I just don't think there was enough time. Okay, I'm just going to take another call now. Making about uh, <laughs> Megan and how did y'all hear that? <laughs> I love that brother. God bless you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'd never heard, I'd never seen anywhere where Catherine spoke without reading a paper. <laughs> Somebody's always, always writing something for her. Jason Nuff. <laughs> you know, what is really pissing them off is that Meghan Markle is the total package. They say it. Their sister around there say it, the journalist. Yeah, she made a good point. God bless her. Yeah. At least she tells the truth. Her mama taught her how to tell the truth. The white sister told the truth. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we all be sitting down there start comparing us to some people. <laughs> you know these tough black mamas? You know those ones? They raised us. Them tough black mamas. They didn't raise no punks. Okay? Got me. Y'all stop comparing Megan to, to, to Kate Middleton. Where is Kate at? Where is Kate? Where is she hiding? We already know she is a racist. We know that her and her father-in-law do hang around together and talk about black people. Allegedly. Tom Bauer said it. No, Catherine was reported by Piers Morgan, actually. He said they named Kate Middleton and the king as a racist, asking about Prince Archie's color before he was born. Was that necessary? You guys might say, well, it's not racist to ask what color the person is going to be, but guess what? What we do ask... And if you do not know black people, culture, ask us, we're going to tell you. We do ask, well, is that baby going to look like the daddy? Is the baby going to look like the mommy? They don't ask what color the baby is going to look. That's when the colorism and the racism comes in. Racism, it's your own language. Hear me? So I found this video here. I thought, damn, 
So this racism is like even with the young people. Even the young people are sitting down there criticizing Megan because of her Nigerian heritage. Those people do not remember or maybe they probably never been to school. It probably might not be their fault. Or maybe it's not taught in their classes, in their uh, uh, in their schools, that uh, those people uh, sold us. Actually, they don't remember. Or maybe it's amnesia. They know it, but because they want to gaslight the black people, that's why they react, they, they act the way they act. I don't know. It's one or the other. It's one, ignorance. Two, lack of education. Three, narcissism gaslighting us. They do not remember that black people were kidnapped from Africa and taken by force into slavery to I'll tell you, America. You just got to laugh. Miguel and Markle has found some ancient ancestry to Nigeria through something 30 odd percent or something apparently Nigerian you know I went through my ancestry during lockdown when we all had well self-isolation in our enforced isolation in our homes and I found out that I have Irish ancestry so I say to the Irish I'm going to turn up tomorrow in Ireland and declare that I'm home welcome back because that's exactly what Meghan Markle's done. She's made her entire identity to score some points on the old diversity checklist now about Nigeria. She thanked them for welcoming her home. Now, some genealogists actually suggest that she might be Ghanaian. And the Sussex-loving press are absolutely lapping it up. I think it's extraordinary. And I don't think it's extraordinary at all. The game. No, you, you don't understand african-american culture in that sense because it's a really big thing for black people in the new world so people who would have gone to america and the caribbean as slaves initially and who are now um you know descended from slaves to find out what their ancestry is and then go back to that place and feel like they are from somewhere because these people they can't even they can't track their ancestry back more than a hundred years. They don't even have their own family name. Now, I am of African descent. That is not my experience. It's completely different. But I think for you to say it's outrageous that Megan's gone to Nigeria and she says she's gone home, that is something that a lot of African Americans do and a lot of black Caribbeans do. And would you seriously say to them it's stupid for them to go to Africa and feel like they're at no, home? No, but Megan Markle... Yes, I would say that. Why? You, you just told her. So the young kid is actually telling them educating these people those people's ancestors sold us but uh, the, the kids did not learn nobody is probably nobody teaching them history about us about the black culture and the black people globally what happened to us nobody teach them teaches them so that's why you guys my sister my brother you all have this task to teach your children Teach you children about our history. Teach you children about uh, 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 the slavery. Teach you children about the colonization. Teach you children about black culture. Teach you children. Because the level of this ignorance, seeing a white man comparing himself, his uh, DNA from Ireland, from Ireland just behind ba back door. Comparing it to some people who got crossed, taken, uh, kidnapped from Africa to come to this country, to these countries, to go to take to be taken to Caribbean, to be taken to America, New World, as the kid says, and to get name changed. To get stripped from their cultures. I mean, you know, these kind of people. I just wanted to show y'all guys the ignorance in these people. It's insane. And they tired of it in them. 
And I, I can't put the whole video because there's one of the kids around there who's saying, why isn't Megan going to her uh, uh, grandparents to ask where she came from? See the, the level of that ignorance? When I tell you all guys, we taught the world everything that the world, everybody knows around this planet. Y'all be thinking that I make that out one up. See the dumbness. Dumb people. Very stupid. Going on a TV channel to say such a thing. Because they do not know what the slavery was. They do not know how it happened. And who did it? Even though they asked. Yeah. So these people have no clue about slavery. They do not know what happened. That's why. They act the way they act. I wonder if in those English schools. People even do mention. Slavery. Or the colonization. Very concerning. Yeah, I'm glad to hear Megan also thinks it's just a projection. You know, those people, they feel so bad about themselves. So they want to project on to it's some always others. A always. <laughs> it always says so much more about the other person than it does about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it's always a projection. Exactly. It's always a projection. Always. <laughs> it always says so much more about the other person than it does about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it's always a projection. Exactly. It's always a projection. Always. I I'm glad that Megan does understand that. It's always a projection. Those people feel so bad about themselves. You know, they do say, there is a saying that uh, misery likes company. Because, you know, those people on the UK media are so miserable. So that's why they project their misery onto Megan. They're so miserable. So they're projecting their own misery to this beautiful black woman. They project Kate's misery <laughs> onto Megan. Megan is living her best life in Montecito, California, and right now working towards her American Riviera Orchard. Did you hear me well? American Riviera Orchard. <laughs> I'm Arab today. And tell me that I'm not. Because you don't even know my origins. <laughs> no, guys, I'm just joking. <laughs> you know, sometimes these, these, these people... They just make me so sad that sometimes it's even hard to laugh or to smile. It just is, I mean, the burden of black people, it's to be born black. We did not even choose. And those people did not even born to, they, they didn't choose to be born who they are. So because God created us, we have to feel guilty because of our race. We have no right to get married. We have no right to get married into rich families. We have no right to marry into other cultures. Because the racists said so. Very sad. So let's get into some fun stuff right now here. I got my Murad Morelli. <laughs> that brother cracked me up yesterday. Now let me put this funny video here made by Murad Morelli. Yeah, M M Murad Morelli is uh, one of the YouTubers. He also does support uh, Harry and Meghan. He does good job. Y'all guys go there and support the brother. 
Major update when it comes to Meghan Markle's tour in Nigeria. She has just been bestowed with new princess royal titles from different kings from within Nigeria that have come to see her. This is a major achievement for her to experience. Definitely one of a kind. She is a princess within her own right. And whilst Meghan Markle has been bestowed with, you know, other royal titles, we have Prince William and his five head scaring away children at a public royal engagement. We have Kate Missington, who we haven't seen for the last five months and is changing faces every season. We have King Charles, who's too busy having sewage tea parties on the same day that Prince Harry arrives so that he can't see his son. Somebody tell him to go pick up the Father of the Year award. We have Camilla, too busy creating the side chick Avengers, inviting Rose Hanbury, the alleged individual involved in the affair with William, to some event and speaking to her. No reason for her to do this. And we have Netflix creating a hit program scoop to remind us all that Prince Andrew is a pedo. May my enemies, you understand, may my enemies be just as confused and suffer just like Meghan Markle's. Karma truly won. Whilst they're all suffering and in confusion, Meghan is being bestowed with multiple royal titles. When you have that natural light of an individual, when you have that nur, as we say in Arabic, when you are a clean hide person, you will always win. <laughs> Ah, uh, y'all heard it. It's coming from Murad Morelli. <laughs> yeah, y'all go ahead and uh, subscribe to his channel. <laughs> he is uh, Sussex friendly also. He uh, says uh, good stuff about Harry and Meghan, supports them and exposes the royals. Yeah, he doesn't like the UK royal family at, at all. <laughs> he exposes them. So go ahead and uh, subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel here. He's doing good job, he said. <laughs> Kate Missington. <laughs> <laughs> William is scaring kids with five heads. He got five heads. <laughs> this guy cracked me up. Let me laugh because this, <laughs> these people, guys. <laughs> All right, my people, please subscribe to Isabella Beck's channel. Let's get the sister to five thousand subscribers and subscribe to my channel, the Lady Rose channel, your favorite channel, anyway, your favorite sister here. So subscribe to all the other sussex friendly channel as well and uh, our brother uh baron is doing good job there keeping us updated and all the other success squaddies yes guys go around and subscribe and let's get these channels to million subscribers guys i'm telling you all guys this fight is getting it's getting harder and harder and harder we need all of y'all guys out here I saw some people, Isabella told me they are watching, but they're not subscribing, guys. Why are we doing that? Look at these people. Right now here, they just exposed their king saying he doesn't like us. So we need to be together and stay together and expose them all together. You know, in a union, we can do it all. One person can't do it. Only Megan cannot shut those people up. All of us together, exposing them to the world is going to make their children learn who their parents really are. What they say at home, it's not what they say in their offices. Thomas Bauer came, told us the truth about the king. Okay? So y'all need to join this fight here. The, the fight is tough. Go to all Sussex Friendly channels. Subscribe. Okay, go to all the social medias, share our videos. That's how we're going to make all those million subscribers here. And we can do it. Okay, we can't let the hate win. It's a lot of them. They have all the, they, they have all the huge billion people accounts. But we have almost close to nothing. Let's get all those uh, 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 Sussex friendly channels to reach uh, big now. Yeah, guys, these people have billions of people spewing hate. There are groups are strong. They have millions of people, few millions of people hating on Harry and Meghan. But uh, Sussex Friendly Channel, I saw a couple of them with 300 people or 400. But most of them are almost close to nothing. 
So let's all work together and go around and subscribe on all those channels so we could make this movement big because this thing is painful. Look at that other dude who came yesterday saying Harry and Meghan went this time to dodgy Nigeria. Nigeria was not dodgy when uh, Camilla, the mistress's son, went there a few days ago. Yeah, that puckerball kid. The mistress's first, first son, I believe. He went to Nigeria. Nigeria was not reported being dodgy. But uh, when Harry and Meghan went there, that's what they uh, they said. And they said next time they gotta, Harry and Meghan going to go to Somalia. Well, what's the matter? What, what's the problem if Harry and Meghan go to Somalia? It's Africa. Meghan Markle has African DNA. These are racist. All right, my people. I'll talk to y'all guys tomorrow. Thank you all. Bye-bye.